so we arrived at Hiawassee State Scenic Park. We're gonna try to find our campsite right now. So, looks nice back here. Hot day, hot day. We have arrived at Okoe Hiawassee Scenic State Park. All right, so let me uh, show you around here. First of all, we got ourselves a picnic table. We're just starting to set up. Uh, got a couple chairs there. Uh, there's a fire ring over here, and there's also a barbecue pit right there. A couple places to hang lanterns or wherever you want to hang. Nancy's in the van right now, getting ready. I hear they're going to have like a thing here tonight where, uh, what are they going to do tonight? I don't know. Guitars by the fire? We got to figure out where it is though. Guitars by the fire. I didn't bring my guitar, but I brought my harmonica. So. I'm going to feed Dexter. Gonna feed Dexter? All right. Dexter got a haircut. And if you notice that line of stuff right there, we just put some tick medicine on him so he doesn't get ticks. But he got a pretty haircut for the summer. And I'll take you down and show you uh, the river here in a little bit. So this is one of the few places you can get down here. Dexter, careful, Dex. I mean, it is on an incline. But this river, oh, look, there's a rope swing. Yeah. You could actually climb up this. You want to go first? I don't think I'd get back. Hello, this is the next day. We are at Natural Bridge Recreation Camping Area, a place I reserve for two nights we're gonna spend here. We're gonna do some hiking tomorrow. We're not absolutely 100% sure. I think we're going up to a Double Arch and do that loop up there, but um, I'm gonna do a little research in that today. But we are at our campsite and uh, last night, um, and I'll show you here in a minute, but they had a washout here. Uh, matter of fact, they had so much rain that even on the drive in here, you could see everything was flooded out. But today it's beautiful. Uh, temperature's gone down drastically, not a lot. It's uh, high, it was low 80s today, but it's beautiful up here and I can't wait to see it. So let me show you something what happened here. This is an hour campsite, but this just shows you water came all the way up, all through this, move that picnic table all the way back to the end the uh, river this part of the river is just I mean exploded and it's receded so much since we got here luckily we're a day later and it's all over with check out this camp this one total washed out how about that tent site yep wouldn't want to been in that tent when that came through there, totally washed out. What we got going on here is a couple baked potatoes and we picked up some fresh local Kentucky sweet corn. Well, we're going to wrap this up for tonight, and uh, it was a great day. You know, the first day is always tough. <laughs> Second day, we got a little bit more organized, had a great dinner tonight. Um, really enjoy this place. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be hiking. Um, not sure yet, so we're going to check it out in the morning, but we plan on doing a good hike. So I'm going to wrap it up for tonight, and I will see you guys in the morning.
Okay, we came up about a two, what was that, two and a half mile? Oh, I think it's two and I don't know. Little uh, gravel road walk. Um, I forget the name of it, I'll put the name up there. But now we're at the Double Arch Trail, actually a real trail now. And it says we got one mile to Double Arch and then we're gonna continue on with the loop around. So Kentucky's awesome. Beautiful. got here after we came with down a whole bunch of steps from this direction getting to a double arch there's a lot of incline decline whichever way you're going steps and switchbacks deep in the woods here though keeps you nice and cool How many steps was that? 49. 49. <laughs> Steep steps. 